What's up you guys, my name is Hutch, and I make videos and put them on the internet. So Black Ops 3 just came out about a week ago, as you guys all know. It was right around this time when Black Ops 1 came out that I made a video where I was talking about how um, I thought that the changes that they had made to quickscoping was not conducive to a fun experience playing the game. And I had a few suggestions on how to improve them. So here we are in Black Ops 3. They've changed the snipers once again. I talked about it in a video that I did with Pomage yesterday. I'll put that in the description. It's a Camp Hutch episode. It's about 17 minutes long. We talk about why he joined Optic and uh, all the changes that have been made to sniping and whether or not we feel it's a good thing. So I want to talk to you guys a little bit about uh, about sniping today by myself to, to give you guys what I feel is a pretty good um, a pretty good way to balance snipers as they currently are. I personally feel like sniping is too difficult in this game, although I understand that there are a lot of people that disagree with me. There are a lot of people that feel like it should be difficult and that because it's difficult, it's rewarding in a way that it wasn't before. And I do understand that. And I, and I think, I think that what I'm going to talk about today actually benefits you guys as well as it, as it benefits me because what I'm going to suggest right now is that you you don't touch the snipers you leave them as they are currently um, which I'm sure a lot of you guys are, are really happy about because quick scoping and drag scoping and people being really aggressive with snipers is a really kind of divisive topic or divisive topic not everybody um, agrees on this topic in fact it's like one of the most hotly contested topics in Call of Duty is how do you make sniping something that's viable, something that's balanced, and something that's fun. And I imagine as a game developer, that's a really tricky thing to pull off, and I don't claim to be an expert uh, in that field. But what I'm going to suggest right now, I feel would work with this game. I don't think this is going to ever happen, but I would love to see some kind of prototype of this. It would be cool if we could just test this out, because I feel like it's a good way to to uh, to balance these weapons. And, and so what I'm going to suggest is... is it, it kind of revolves around this idea that in every Call of Duty game that we play, it's usually the ARs and the SMGs that are dominant. LMGs and shotguns and snipers kind of fit more of a niche role in Call of Duty. That's not so much the case with this game because the LMGs are pretty much on the same level as SMGs and ARs. A lot of people think the Gorgon is really overpowered. I'm on the fence about that. Like at range, it's it's in, incredible and, and up close, it's not... So I don't know if that gun is inherently balanced or not. But um, the LMGs are a little bit stronger in this game uh, than they have been in previous Call of Duties. But then um, the shotguns are still a tier below that in my mind. And I think the snipers are a tier below that. So how would you fix this problem? Well, I think one way to balance snipers would be to assign a different numerical value to them. It shouldn't be... Uh, Snipers as they stand right now, or as they are right now, are not on the level of any other gun in the game. They're not on the level of shotguns, they're not on the level of LMGs, not on, certainly not on the level of ARs and SMGs. So what can you do about that? Well, the idea that I popped into my head was that you have the secondary pistols and launchers as they are right now, you make them worth one point. You have the snipers, you make them worth two points. You make the shotguns worth three points, and you make the AR, SMGs, and LMGs worth four points. I'm not saying leave everything else alone, because obviously that wouldn't work. I'd say instead of it being a pick 10, have it be a pick 14, and then add or assign different numerical values to these guns. Because... Like they don't have to like the snipers don't have to be super strong, but if they're not strong and if they're certainly not as strong as like the Man of War, or the VMP, or the Vesper, or uh, the Gorgon, or if they're not as strong as these things, then their numer numerical value should reflect that. And I I would feel like it would be more balanced if um so if the sniper was worth two points and the ARs are worth four points, then that would free up two slots for me to maybe add a couple concussion nades, uh, maybe add an, a couple extra attachments on the little Rafika pistol or something like that. It just, it, it, it allows me to add something it to, to, to tip the balance a little bit more in my favor so that I can be on the same level as someone who's using an LMG and AR or an SMG. This is just a thought that I had um, last night. I was thinking about you know, well, what would I do if I was them? And the first idea that I had was, why not have the snipers just be secondaries? Um, and then I thought, like, well, I don't know if that quite works because I just don't think that works for this game. And then 
the idea kind of elaborated in my mind and turned into, well, why don't we just add a few more points to the pick 10 and then really, really um, make these things distinct. Acknowledge the fact that a sniper is not as strong as an AR and then give us something in return. Sniping is still going to be the same. It would still be really difficult. It, it, there's almost no aim assist and they have a really defined specific role in Black Ops 3, which is you, you, you can't really be aggressive with it. You can if you're going for montages and, and things like that. And it and it certainly it's going to happen every once in a while where you rush into spawn and you kill six people right off spawn and get a crazy kill feed or something. Those things are always going to happen with this with, with this many millions of people playing the game. And recording their gameplay and putting it up on YouTube, you're gonna see those clips. And the immediate reaction that a lot of people have is they're clearly overpowered. We need to do something about that. I don't think that's the case, and I think that this is a really good way to um, to um, to balance snipers without tuning them, if that makes any sense. So that's my thought. Let me know what you guys think in the comments, uh, and if you disagree, why? And do you have any alternative? um suggestions for for weapon balance all things being said at, at the end of this video i want to say that this is probably the best weapon balance that we've had in a call of duty at launch uh normally you can tell right away what gun is going to be dominant black ops one you had the famas modern warfare three you had well you had a few guns in modern warfare three but like acr you know and, and uh, uh mp7 certainly stood out in uh, Ghosts, you had, what did you have in Ghosts? You had the TAR-21 at first, and then that turned into the Vector, and then in Advanced Warfare, you had the um, the BAL. And in this game, we're, we're it, it seems like the argument is like, well, I think this one's overpowered. I think this one's over. No, I think this one's over. And now it's a conversation about like eight or nine or ten different guns, and I think that's awesome. I've, I've wanted that for a long time, and it's really cool to see that in the game. But I don't think that sniping is, I don't know if the word is acceptable, I don't think sniping is balanced. I think it's I think it's balanced in in the in favor of it being not as good as the other guns. And I would love to see uh, I would love to see the game sort of acknowledge that and and assign a different value to it. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Oh, speaking of um, respawn, Nanners posted a, a video on his channel today. Uh, Sark and I went over to his office like a week ago in LA, less than a week ago. And we sat down, we played some zombies and we, we, we recorded an episode of, uh, of respawn as it were, but it's not, it's, I think he called it nanner spawn. Really funny video. I think you guys are going to enjoy it. I'll put that in the description as well. Hope you guys are having a good week and I will talk to you guys very soon. I'm going to go.